everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica of Miss More Style, and I am here today to bring you a bunch of outfit inspiration for 4th of July or red, white, and blue outfits that you could wear for other occasions. I shopped my closet and I pulled out every single article of clothing that I have that is red, white, or blue, uh, shoes, accessories, the whole thing, and I'm gonna put together as many different outfits that I can. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed because there's a lot of clothes in here, so I hope that this video gives you some inspiration for maybe some outfits that you could put together. Maybe you have some similar items in your closet. So hopefully you get a little inspiration for something you can wear for this fun summer holiday here in the US. I've got all different types of looks that I'm gonna do from super casual to super over the top. So hopefully there is something in here for everyone. Times are really weird right now. So whether or not you're celebrating at home by yourself or with a couple people or whatever you're doing, please stay safe out there and enjoy um, this is one of my favorite holidays. It's actually my husband and I's uh, anniversary of being together. I believe we've been together now 10 years. Wow. So it has some special significance to me other than it being America's birthday. So I always love getting festive and getting on a fun red, white and blue outfit to wear. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you turn that red subscribe button into gray and then ding that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm gonna be doing a lot more shop my closet type videos like this coming up. I have another one coming up this week that I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of different ways to wear a basic white t-shirt. So lots of great fashion content coming your way. Make sure that you subscribe. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram and you love fashion, you definitely wanna go find me. My handle is somewhere up here and I'll have all my social media and my blog linked in the description box below so that you can find me on all these different platforms and we can be friends. As always, if these items are available, I will link them in the description box below. If they are older, I will try to find alternatives. Without further ado, let's just get into the outfits and let's see what I come up with. All right, getting started with what I was already wearing. So I've got these little cute denim Bermuda shorts from my last Walmart haul and this t-shirt that was from Lucky from last year, which I love. Don't call me darling, okay? And I just paired it with these cute blue and red accessories and of course these white heart sunglasses because, come on, they go so perfectly with this look. Now, you can switch those Bermudas out for some little short shorts, some Daisy Dukes, shall we say. And I put on these little fringe leather white booties that I got from Revolve. They are so fun, so sassy for 4th of July. And of course this hat, which I wear all the time from lack of color. It is one of my absolute favorites. I feel like I'm ready to go line dancing, y'all. This next look is a true red, white, and blue kind of look. You can't go wrong with the denim skirts and a red crop top. Of course, these little heart hoops are the perfect little touch. And I've got these blue suede wedges on from Mark Fisher. And I think this is just a really cute all around casual look for the 4th of July. Next, I'm gonna do a couple outfits styling this white one piece bathing suit. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, and I've styled it a couple different ways. This way was like one way I kind of wore to Coachella last year. Oh, Coachella. Will we ever go to music festivals again? I don't know. But it's a really pretty little sheer star shimmery overlay, which I think looks really cute. And then with these shimmery silver star sunglasses, what a great combo and little white Western style booties. Now let's switch it up a bit and take these booties off. Get rid of this little overlay. And then let's change up the pants. I wanna show you how you can make this actually very, very chic. So this bathing suit is a great base, sort of like a bodysuit would be. And now I've got these white slacks on with these really pretty gingham lace up heels and some little red cat eye sunglasses. This wicker type of basket bird cage bag i don't really know what to call it is the perfect accessory and this is just very sleek it's more subtle fourth of july vibes so now we did that now here's the denim skirt again that i'm obsessed with this is going to be a little bit more of a casual look but something that you could wear out maybe if you're going out to a bar later that night on fourth of july i love these little heart earrings they give the perfect little red touch 
And I love this thing, it's adjustable. You can make it as low cut and sexy or not low cut as you want. And you can take your look from the pool to the nighttime, no problemo. Next, I'm styling a couple dresses. I love this little red mini dress for 4th of July. It's just so cute and just like kind of 90s vibes. You can really dress it up or down. Here I've got it kind of casual with a jean jacket and some white Converse and a little backpack. But if we switch out the shoes and we trade them for something a little more dressy like these little white heeled slides and give a little bit more accessorizing to the look, it can be dressed up quite a bit with this basket bag. It's so summer appropriate. And this is just a little bit more sassy if you want it to be just a little bit more chic and dressy for your occasion, but it can go both ways. I love the versatility. Next up, I'm styling this Show Me Your Moo Moo denim midi dress that I've had for a couple seasons. I love this dress so much. You can really do so much with it. And denim is a great base for a 4th of July look because it's a great source of blue. So you can kind of get your red and white in your accessories and it's just a great go-to outfit combination for 4th of July to have like a denim dress. This next look is a very chic take on a 4th of July look. I took this white shirt dress as the base, added some red beads and some red heeled sandals and decided to put my hair in a little low bun. It's just very polished if that's what you're going for this 4th of July. And of course, paired it with my navy blue Dior dupe and voila. Gingham is one pattern that is just a shoe-in for 4th of July outfits, especially a navy gingham. I paired it with a little red bandana on my head and some cute white heart earrings and a red bag. This is such a cute, playful look. If you were going to be out by the beach or something, I would highly recommend this look. This next look is a little bit more over the top, a little bit more fancy. Maybe you have the occasion on 4th of July to dress this way. I just did this for fun. I love this maxi dress. It's from Eliza J. And I put some red and white beads with it as the dress is blue and white striped. And I just think this is so fabulous. I wish I had somewhere to wear this on 4th of July. Ugh, love this look so, so much. Speaking of Eliza J, this is another one of their dresses. I have this polka dot dress on with some gingham heels. I love to do a little print mix and the red lobster earrings I think just add so much with the red accessories. This is just a chic and more dressy 4th of July look if you have an event that calls for a dressier outfit. It's perfect. This next look I like to call my Rosie the Riveter inspired look. It's a denim jumpsuit. Of course, you gotta tie the red bandana around your head. I love a jumpsuit because you can just really move around in them and you can be ready for anything the day throws at you. So if you're gonna have a little bit more of an active 4th of July, this is a great option. Of course, I like to pair it with these sunglasses and again, the star hoops and that granny glasses chain because why not? I just think this is such a classic 4th of July sort of outfit. Nothing says summer like a little white dress and to wear it on 4th of July, I like to pair it with little white sneakers to keep it casual. This little gingham hairband is the great accessory to add some blue and of course some red sunglasses and this little basket bag and this is just a darling very feminine girly sort of look but sort of still casual with the sneakers so you're not too dressed up but very feminine and girly. I love this next look. It's very retro inspired with these high-waisted gingham pants. This is such a fun way to style a graphic t-shirt. If you have one like this one that has some red in it, goes with the navy and white gingham pants so well. And with all these red accessories and the basket bag, very 4th of July appropriate and funky and fun. Unfortunately, no, this is not a bathing suit. It's a bodysuit. It has snaps in the crotch, but it's such a fun piece I bought last year for a photo shoot. And so I'm styling it this year with some jeans over it. I think it's just really fun. If you really want to be a little bit more daring, make more of a statement, maybe not the best for a barbecue with family, but if you're going out with friends, it's definitely, you know, a little bit more flirty and out there. I don't know if you're noticing the reoccurring theme in this video, but it is to style a one piece as a bodysuit. So I have this red one piece from Okio, which I love. 
putting it on some high-waisted wide leg white jeans over it and this lighter blue and white stripe button up top but just tying it so that the red bathing suit peeks out this is a great way also to take your pool day to nighttime and keep it sophisticated but also summery and casual now this outfit is if you're just going to be chilling at home and not going anywhere on the couch but still want to be festive. So I've got these Adidas track pants, white tank top, and a blue denim jacket. And this is just a great casual look if you just plan on bumming it at home. That concludes today's video. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know which outfit was your favorite. I always love chatting with you guys down there. So please, please, please leave me a comment. I hope wherever you are that you have a fun and safe 4th of July weekend. Make sure that you subscribe if you didn't do it already and go check me out on Instagram and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.